So in this short video, we will demonstrate how to use um, Excel to solve a regression problem. I've taken the same problem that we've worked in class, which has to do with um, modeling the relationship between the demand for coffee and the price for coffee. So here's the data right here that's already been entered where we have the demand in this column and the prices in this column. And then we did say that the price was going to be the independent variable and that the demand was going to be the dependent variable. Okay? Now, these calculations that you see here are basically my using Excel to basically do this problem by hand. So in this column, I've calculated the y squareds, the x squareds, and then the xy values. And over here, I have the totals. So this would be my sum of y, sum of the demand, sum of x, sum of the prices, sum of y squareds, sum of x squareds, and then sum of xy. And over on this section, I've sort of calculated all the values that I, I needed to use, SSX, and you know, once I, I enter the right formulas, SSY, SSXY, the slope from the relationship that it is SSY over SSX, and um, over here, the intercept, which we know we calculate from the formula B0 is equal to Y bar minus b1 x bar all right and then these are the values like the sum of squared errors the standard deviation of the errors the correlation coefficient coefficient determination the t value associated with um, a test of linear correlation and the t value associated with a test for beta 1 so that's done by hand but what if we want to do this problem in excel so how are we going to do this? First thing you need to do, now I already have it set up, which is under data, you need to have this add-in called data analysis. But if you don't have it yet, you could check to see if you have it. If you don't have it yet, then you go into File, Options, and then under Options, you go to Add-ins. And then we see here analysis tool pack at the top. So you select that and you say go. And in here I have a number of add ins, solver, analysis tool pack, and so on. So all you need to do is just select analysis tool pack. You could select this one as well, analysis tool pack VBA, but we won't really need it. It's just the analysis tool pack. Once you say OK, you go back to data and it should show up over here. So there we are. So <clears throat> I want to now do regression analysis in Excel. So I would simply select data analysis. And then here's the menu of different models that I could run in Excel. So if I take, uh, I could do ANOVA, two-factor ANOVA, etc. But what we're looking for is regression. So here's regression, and I simply select that. So what are my y variable, my y data and my x data, sorry. So the x range and the y ranges are over here in, in columns B and C. And it, uh, it gives you an option to stipulate whether or not you're going to have labels. So I'm actually going to include labels. And so I'm going to take my input y range, so I put the cursor in the cell here, and I will select all these values here, the eight values, including the label, and do the same for my Y, so my X's, sorry, which would be my prices. And then if I want confidence intervals, I certainly can, but the confidence intervals that I will get will just be a confidence interval for the slope and the intercept. If we're not interested in that right now, we don't have to select this. Uh, we don't need to look at the residuals because we are not analyzing residuals. Residuals are the difference between the actual Y values and the predicted Y values. So that's just the errors. 
and we could actually plot the residuals to see if they're randomly varying around zero because remember one of the assumptions that we made is that the mean of the errors is equal to zero so let's just do this we're going to put it in a new worksheet so i will say coffee results and it's as simple as that and there we go it's done as simple as that so let's figure out what some of these values are if we look here we see multiple r that multiple r is the correlation coefficient that's a correlation coefficient r squared that's the coefficient of determination Coefficient only has one F. Coefficient I believe so. I could be wrong. Doesn't look right. Maybe two Fs. <laughs> there we go. Coefficient of determination, coefficient uh, correlation coefficient. We'll ignore those for now, but this is my standard error. So that's my S E right here. And this analysis of variance is a way of determining whether or not the regression line is a good fit. And we could actually look at the significance level. And you'll notice that the significance level is, uh, the, the p-value is very, very small. So if, um, if I ask the question, is this regression line a good fit? The way I answer that is by looking at the significance level of the analysis of variance and as you could see it is extremely small it is 1.01 .01 by 10 to the minus 5 so four zeros and one so if we tested that at a, at a say one percent significance level we would definitely reject the hypothesis that it is not a good fit the alternate hypothesis would be is that it is a good fit now over here is where we get the information for our regression line we see the coefficient of the intercept. So that here is B0. Let me see if I could find some drawing tools. I find some drawing tools and I'll put some arrows on it. I'm looking for a drawing tool. Don't see it. Oh well, we'll pass on that for now. But this value right here would be our, how about we do it this way, our B0, not beta, but B0. And then this value here would be our B1. So you see 2898.09 and then 607.976. So those are the values right here. Now, if we were that these are the standard errors associated with these um, uh, statistics but if we were doing t-tests to determine whether or not those coefficients were significant then if you look here you'll see the t values associated with them this is the one that we calculated negative 13.52 associated with the slope and then if we were testing whether or not the intercept was non-zero that would be our t-value, 19.19. In both cases, the p-values are quite small. So both the intercept and the slope are significant. And that's how we would use regression, I mean uh, Excel, to solve a regression problem for us. Okay? So hopefully that helps. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, and the results come out very, very quickly.